guys welcome back to my channel it's been a little minute i've been super busy i have a big life update for you guys i'll be filming that soon if you hear music or you hear motorcycles e-scooters whatever they got it's because it's a friday night and i live in new york city today i'm collaborating with ebonyline.com once again i love ebonyline.com shout out to ebonyline.com for collaborating with me I'm a little on the late side but hopefully she's still in stock because I always get the super popular ones. Um, just because, you know, I have a good eye for wigs, you know. Anyway, let me just get right into this because I don't want this video to be super duper long. Today, I'm doing a review slash tutorial on Model Models. It's been a minute since I, I had a Model Model wig. It's been a minute since I even said that name. Model Models Half Up HD Lace Front Wig. Um, the style is May and I got her in a one. So this wig is pre-styled, you know, I, I know I sound like an old lady every time I say back in my day, but I'm gonna be doing that until I'm old as hell. Back in my day, when synthetic wigs first came out, we didn't have no pre-style, baby. We didn't even have good lace fronts, honey. Or maybe we did, I just didn't really know how to do them. So let me just go right ahead and open it because I don't want to waste any time. Okay, oh, she done fell out the package. Oh, oh, okay, we don't need that. Oh, okay. Ooh, she feels really thickalicious. Look at this, y'all. Thickalicious. Now, the wig I have on my head, this is 100% human hair, right? 100% human hair on my head right here. See, this is human. This is synthetic. But look, it looks the same. It's not really a difference. This is not super, super shiny. In fact, this is shiny because I put some sheen on it. But you know what I'm saying? This is looking really, like, nice. It does come with lace. Let me show you. You see, all of that is lace. So you can glue this down. You might not need to because it has two clips in the front right there. And it has, of course, a wig strap. Um, so yeah, it has the strap and everything. So I would like, if you don't want to put, you know, glue, you really don't have to because I feel like you're not going to really see your edges anyway because of the bangs. I am going to tint the lace regardless if the lace, you know, you're not going to really see my edges. I still want everything to be perfection because there's always a side or, you know, a little part that you can see. And if that's installed to perfection, you don't have to worry about that. But when it's sloppily made, then you'll see a little lift and it just ruins the whole look. So I'm going to go ahead and install her and I'll be right back. Yeah, I got it. I got it. No music today, straight voiceover. So I'm using my even tint spray in medium brown to tint this lace because even though it's a, a don't mind my braids, chat. Um, yeah, because even though it's a lace wig and it's a bang, I still want to tint the lace. Here I am cutting off the lace. You guys know I leave at least one inch of lace on my lace wigs. Make sure you can put the, the wigs behind your ears. You want to always make sure of that, hunty. So now my lace glue of choice today is the Esha glue pen, one of my faves. Today I'm actually only going to glue the edges. It really didn't make sense personally for me because I'm taking this wig off right after this to glue the whole wig around my whole hairline. I'm just doing the edges because that's pretty much where the wig lifts up the most. And I'm going to use the blow dryer on cool to cool that down so that it's nice and sticky. I usually don't do this, but I actually wanted to try a close-up today, and I actually love the way it came out. My camera is amazing, even though I've had it for like a good five to seven years now. Uh, but you know, the edges are always the most important to me because that's always the part where it lifts up. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time on the edges, just perfecting it and getting it to stay down on my head. Us big head girls go through the most. The wig is not super big head friendly so it's kind of hard to like have it stay on one side and the other so you can see i'm struggling a little bit but girl i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it at the end of the day now that the lace is late let's get into these bangs honey let's see how these bangs is looking chat oh okay oh they go over my eyes no honey see you see me pulling it back I'm making sure I pull it back because I do not like bangs in my eyes. So now I'm taking, oh, so yeah, a little piece of the hair comes off where you're supposed to wrap around a ponytail, which is interesting. Um, and it comes with a super tight, tight, as you see, I'm struggling rubber band, which I hate. I'm going to replace that with the scrunchie because child no. So put the pipe down, take a drink and sip. 
I got the goon, yeah. Now let's get right back to these bangs. I'm gonna clip up the top. Uh, yeah, it's it's too long. I don't know what the side is doing. It has this really long, awkward piece of hair on the side. Not feeling it, so I'm going to actually just cut this bang as short as I can. Don't judge the way I cut, okay? I just do what works best for me. I just take a piece of hair and I just go at it. Um, but at the end, it will be super neat because I'm a perfectionist. I'm an Aries, you know. So, yeah, I'm just cutting it like piece by piece to s determine how long or how short I want it. I do not recommend cutting bangs with a full face of makeup on and extra long lashes because the hairs all fall on my face, on top of my lashes. It's crazy, but I've been doing this for so long, it's easy to me, but I, I don't recommend it if you're new to this. I'm trying to determine if I want to keep this long piece, but then ultimately, because I, you see I cut it a little bit, I'm trying to see, oh, is this a look? But I'm going to cut that right off because I just ended up like not liking it. Come through in the vintage outfit, makeup and hair done, jeans and blouse shit. Correct the chick quick if she try and doubt shit. I'm a home wrecker, I'll fuck this stuff, bitch. Gagging real good with the strap and the pistol. Turn it ass over, I'ma see what that bitch Okay, so I'm just combing out the hair, just getting all the tangles out. It really doesn't have any tangles, but there was one on the end that was bothering me. Putting my flat iron on, letting that heat up, and now I'm going to actually focus on the updo because I told you guys earlier that I wanted to use a scrunchie instead of the rubber band that it came with, so that's what I'm doing right now. With this wig, you have to be careful the way you do, like, fix the updo if you take out the rubber band because the bangs will start lifting up, and that's what was happening here. So I decided to take my wax stick to just get it to stay down because it was lifting because I guess of the way, of how high I put the updo. Um, now I'm just going to wrap around the little hair part that it comes with, combing it out so it's nice and neat, and I'm still going to wrap that around so I have my little wrap around my ponytail. Another thing, my scrunchie was a little too thick, so like the piece didn't fit because it has Velcro at the back of it and it's supposed to attach. Didn't attach, so I ended up just wrapping it around and just putting a bobby pin inside of it. Now I'm flat ironing the hair. It's pretty straight, but I always like to add heat to every wig just to give it that nice and freshly flat iron look. My flat iron is up to, I think, about 350. I didn't go past that, so I don't recommend, but... As you can see, it takes 350 degrees pretty well. Dusting off all of the excess hairs that fell on my face. All of it fell by my nose, by my eyes. So just reapplying makeup and fixing that. Found these adorable scrunchies on Sheen. I have all colors. Putting a hot pink on the bottom, light pink on the top. It's giving me Nicki Minaj. It's so cute. And I think it just completes the look. Okay, guys, that is all for installing this wig. As you can see, this wig came out absolutely gorgeous. Now, I don't know how uneven the bang looks. I tried, hold on, I got a little hair right here. I tried my best to cut it because it was like, over my eyes and I, I just despise bangs that come over your eyes especially for me because I wear long lashes and I wear them so they can show so when I see bangs that's like right there it's like how could I even see what's going on the hair itself comes a little bit below my large boobs <laughs> comes yeah a little bit lower so I would say this hair is like a 22 it's a nice 22 I wish it was longer because you guys know I love my inches I think it would have been gorgeous if it was like a good 40 inch, but I think that's too much with the bangs and you know, with 40 inches, you gotta, you just need a middle part to go. Um, but the length is really pretty. I'm gonna show you how it looks in the back chat. I do not know how it looks in the back, from the back. So if you look crazy from the back, don't judge me. Judge the company that made the wig. I don't know if you can see tracks, but I know they have, there's a part. I don't think you can see tracks because there's a small part right there. This is how it looks from the back. Just like that. Yes, it's super easy. She's super easy to comb through, as you can see. I'm taking my brush and I'm combing through it. No tangles, no shedding at all, at all. 
and it feels really thick like it feels expensive it doesn't feel cheap or like it feels really thick i don't even think anybody would think this is a synthetic wig if they see me in person i feel like i'm talking a lot because i'm thirsty and my breath probably smells like booty um yeah that's all for this video i just feel super pretty and fabulous let me go i love you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video subscribe if you're not and i have way more videos coming up lots of life updates so stay tuned for that Follow me on Instagram if you want to see me with my Hello Kitty velour sweatsuit and the hair flipping and flopping. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, oh, I got hair in my mouth. That's what you, when you cut your bangs, hair just flies. Anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. But until then, keep slaying. I come through in the vintage outfit, makeup and hair done, jeans and blouse shit. Correct the chick quick if she try and doubt shit. I'm a home wrecker, I'll fuck this guy, bitch. Gagging real good with the strap and the pistol. Turn his ass over, I'ma see what that whip do. Ain't too worried about what them balls and that dick do. Got this nigga hard like a number two pen.